hey hello once again thank you for joining me on my channel if you are new here welcome this channel is all about data and analysis and we have already begun a series of uh, tutorials in excel today we are continuing off from where we left off in our previous video on tables and therefore with without me saying much please like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and then comment in the comment section about your views and what you've learned and what you would want to see in our next video with that being said let me fire up the excel sheet the one we're using for our data so by now i'm i hope that you have this data set if you do not have this data set please visit our previous video on tables part two working with tables part two and then you will have access to the the file if you can't find that also i'll still drop the link in this particular uh, video for you to have access to the file so today we're going to do something very quick we left off on our previous data manipulation where we were trying to create this particular subset of the larger table again um i mentioned in that video that there was there were some few things that were missing uh, whilst we we're trying to create the subset of the table so today we're going to jump right in and we're going to learn how to calculate for every single uh, column that we have here so i'm going to delete this particular table so you can delete it with me so i delete this and then also go into your table expand it okay you expand your table by just highlighting everything and then bring it once you bring it uh, your cursor in between the c and d or any section of the columns and then double click it and then it will expand so we are deleting column a column b actually we are deleting the date and time as well and we are deleting our rocket type because we don't need the rocket type for this particular one and then we will delete also the mission so at the end of the day we should have just these four columns we should have our company name the rocket status the price and the missions and then we jump right into it so in our previous video i mentioned that this is a table and it is much easier to work with a table because you it allows you to sub do some easy and quick analysis on the table now we realize that when we look at so again we are doing filtering here okay so you just click on this button and then you deselect the all and then you type okay area space is already here so we won't type it okay now you realize that we have area space and then under the rocket status we had both words active and retired and then under the mission status we have failure partial failure and success let me zoom in a bit on this so you can see very clearly good now when we did the previous table we didn't have all the sections we didn't have the active and retired showing we also did not have the failure the success and then the pre-launch failure also showing which is the partial failure so how do we make sure that we work with this table and we still make sure that we do not miss any information here and this is where it brings us to something called pivot okay pivot so working with pivot allows you to easily easily group all you have to do is just pull certain columns pull certain information to certain columns and then you have your data as you want it so i want us to make sure that we have everything every name of company in this section okay and then each of the names so for example arian space active we should have a failure and then we should have a total calculation for the price and then we should also have the area space the active and then the calculation for the success okay and then we should have the same thing for the pre-failure is that not pre-launch failure yes that's okay so how do we do it all you have to do is select any part of the table just stand anywhere okay stand anywhere in the table here and then go to insert on the top here which is on the menu on the menu bar at the top here where it is written in set and then you should see pivot table here okay you should see pivot table here 
and then there's another one close to you that says what recommend pivot table so what the two the what with the pivots on the left you are going to create the, the pivot table and do your analysis but with the recommend pivot tables excel automatically looks at the data that you have in here okay and then decides or assumes some of the calculations that you can do on it so first let's do the recommend tables and then we'll go back to do what we have to do okay so um so again be there and then click on recommend tables do you see that now it has taken the whole table uh, into consideration now if the data was still in the range okay it means if it was not in the table if it was in the range then if you click anywhere for it to recommend tables it may leave certain sections of the data out that is why you have to work with table okay now that we've done recommend uh, pivot tables these are some of the pivot tables that excel automatically has generated for us so if we look at it it has generated a count of companies so what it is doing it it looks at the column a alone okay it looks at this column alone and then it is counting how many times a particular company appears so for example you see that Ariane space appears 293 times okay and then amber appears eight times uh this casc also appears 338 times but that's so that is one and then the other thing it has recommended for us is also the count of mission status remember that there were various uh comments for each of the spaceship launches right and then i indicated that in a previous table that we did we did not account for all of them but you realize that excel being smart it has also detected that we have the mission status also has more than just one particular type of comment so we have the failure we have the partial failure we have pre-launch failure we have success so for example in your let's say you are you go cycling okay and then on monday monday you went cycling in the morning and then whilst you were cycling you fell okay on monday tuesday you went cycling you did not fall down wednesday you went cycling you did not fall down thursday went cycling you fell okay so what we are doing is we want to see and then so this happened you do that for an entire month maybe the next monday you went cycling you didn't fall so we are trying to find out so for each of the mondays how many times did i fall for a monday and how many times did i not fall for a monday and the same applies to the other days of the week okay so when we look at our data something similar is happening here so for arian space as a company we have a failure we have a pre uh, a partial failure a pre-launch failure and a success so we wanted to take all these things into consideration and here excel just calculated using the mission status for us here okay let me so excel just took the mission status and said maybe we just wanted to see the mission status data alone. okay okay so for all failures how many failures happen how many pre-launch failure happened how many success uh, did we also get so we can do that when we get to pivot table but i just want to show you take a closer look at this and then when we get to doing the pivot table our own uh, analysis itself you will better understand this okay and then you see the fourth table which is the count of rockets so obviously we had two types of rockets we had the active and retired uh, types so this is what uh, Excel had assumed for us. So if you wanted to go ahead with say maybe count of company, all you have to do is click and then click OK here. Okay, you just click on the OK button and then your data will launch successfully onto a new sheet. Okay. So you'll find out that we have we still have our space sp spaceship data on at the bottom, and then just beside it we have sheet three that has our data so you realize that we did not do any formula calculation here automatically there is some sort of table so this is what we call the pivot table there's some sort of table and then there's a count of it has done its calculation for us at the section look all the way to the right this is the fields let's let me go out this is the fields that we will be working with when it has to do with the pivot table okay we'll be working with this particular field and take particular notice at this particular field. it says what 
drag fields between areas below so we are going to be bringing these down here into either into into either the filter column the columns box the rows or the values but if you look down here you realize that we already have a company in the rows so like i said i told you rows are from left to right right so we have the company in the rows and then we have count of company so it looked in the big data it counted how many times did this appear so if we want to ascertain if you want to ascertain or if you want to know whether this is correct just go back to the previous data sets and then what was the name of the company we had here aeb so let's go back and let's filter let's deselect everything and pick aeb and then click ok so you realize that aeb is just three isn't this fantastic so we just have aeb3 let's try for amber okay let's go back again <clears throat> select amber deselect this one and click ok and then you realize that amber has also shoot how many let's just highlight and see and then look down here there's one easy way to find out uh, to do um analysis on your data sets when you highlight on them excel does a short calculation for you at the bottom here on the bar so you see that it says what count is what eight so let's go back and then see if it is eight in the pivot table it is eight so this is how easy it is to work so if you don't know what you want to do to your data excel can assume that for you now let's go back this time around i want us to have our pivot table right here in the data okay so i will select again go back to insert at the top and then this time around i take pivot and then it still highlights the same area for me and then ask me do i want it in the new sheets or i want it in the existing worksheet so i want us to work with the existing worksheet so that we see the data and then we see the pivot table so i select that and then once i select it here starts blinking so i need to select a particular cell so i want let me select here so what it means is going to look at this particular cell there and then start doing the calculation in that side for us and then i click ok good so now you see that this particular table has um this field pivot field at the column here corner here has dropped again for us so this is where we are going to do what we want to do we are not going to write in any formulas nothing in this field we'll just be dragging and dropping so what did i say we want so we're going to look at companies we want the companies in what in rows we want all the companies in line like this so once i drag you find that the companies have come to the column and nothing repeats it takes care of all the repetitions okay and then i said i wanted to find what rocket status so i want that for every single company i have whether the company has the rocket status active or retired so i'll go back again drag rocket status bring it underneath company what do you see retired has come underneath right let's do the same for the mission status i bring it to rows so i'm putting everything in a row now okay now the next question i want to do is now that i have so aeb and i retired i can tell for retired that um under the retired for aeb there is a filler and there's a pre-launch it means aeb doesn't have active a quick analysis on that just come here select aeb and then click ok and you find out that it doesn't have active so your data is fine okay so just go back click ok and then select if it is gone don't worry yourself just come back select anywhere on the table and then it comes back now i want to calculate the price for each of them how much did it cost for them to do a rocket launch and then it failed how much did it cost for them to do a pre-launch and then it failed and how much did it cost for them to launch and then it was successful all you have to do is you see values values the values column calculates for you okay so i just drag this click hold drag and bring it to values and then you find out that values have appeared on the <clears throat> at the column side now you ask yourself so does that mean that aeb doesn't have any total calculation for this it means that they haven't spent for it so let's find out again go back to aeb here we filter just aeb and then you realize that in the price column there is no 
value so this is how to make sure that you when you're working with a bigger table you want a smaller table to analyze you will easily easily do this with the writing formula so if you've gotten here with me in the video thank you very much for staying with me we've done very well in in understanding how to use pivot tables trust me pivot tables can allow you to do a lot more when we get to the advanced um excel tutorials i will show you how to drill down and how to make sure that you are able to perform certain analysis with pivot table thank you very much thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you in the next video but please do not forget to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and most importantly put on the notification bell so that anytime any video is dropped on our journey to understanding uh, data analysis you'll be the first to be informed thank you <music>